One of the plights of just about every read it later service out there is you end up having a huge list of documents to come back to that's kind of difficult to process through and find what you're looking for. In Readwise Reader, however, there's an excellent feature that allows you to take, once you've triaged these documents that you want to take a look at some point in the future, you can section them into special lists and that's filters. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at the filter feature inside of Reader and how you can start to build some yourself and customize your own home screen. Now, if you haven't tried out Readwise Reader yet, there is an affiliate link down below that you can use to get a double length trial for free. So you can check out Readwise and Readwise Reader all for free for 60 days. The typical trial link is 30 days. So click on that link below in the description or follow the link on the screen if you want to get into the Readwise Reader public beta. With that, let's get into the app. All right, so this is your home screen here that you typically get when you're inside Readwise Reader. There's a couple of different sections here, and this can be a really helpful place to jump into articles, videos, podcasts or so are on that you're capturing into Reader. There's a continue reading section recently added. A lot of this comes straight out of the box, but you can custom configure this. And it starts by building custom filters. Custom filters are essentially queries that you can build inside of Reader so that you can create a list essentially based on some parameters. Now there's a filtering guide that you can access inside of the uh, manage filter screen, which we'll show in just a second, but it's a notion document that shows you all of the uh, filtering parameters, strings that you can use, binary parameters, numerical parameters, uh, operators, and so on. There's a few examples in here as well. Today, what I want to do is to take you through a couple examples of filters that you can build for yourself and show you how to customize your home screen using them. So if I scroll down here, you can see that I have this filter down here called Community Reads. Uh, being a member of the community industry for my trade and profession, uh, one of the things that I love to do is read about all sorts of new stuff in community. And what this filter is, it's a custom filter that shows me all of my articles tagged with community that are either in the inbox or in my later list. Because if I've archived it, I don't want to see it again. So to access the filter screen, I head on over here to the left-hand bar. At the bottom, there's this uh, stack of diamonds that says Manage View Tags and Feeds. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to Manage Filtered Views. Now here's a list of all the views that you have inside of Reader. So what we're going to do today is, since I've built this community filter already, I want to build a productivity filter because I also read in the productivity world quite a bit as well. So I'm going to go up to add filtered view. I am going to start typing a query and it's going to be tag productivity. And I'm just going to hit enter. This brings up a new query that shows all of my articles that I've saved tagged with productivity. I'm going to go up here though. I'm going to edit it and I'm gonna add an extra filter. So I'm gonna say, and in inbox. So that will show if all of the articles that are in the inbox, well, there are none. Okay, so I'm gonna edit that filter again, and I'm gonna put an or function in here, and I'm going to say in later. And that narrows the list down to all the stuff that I haven't yet read or consumed. So let's take a look at this and break it down. So you can see that this item here is really just a tag. Uh, so it's the productivity tag and you use the tag colon uh, to denote that. Then in is where it's located in your uh, flow of triage. So either in the inbox or in later. And then it has to, the and and ors are really important in here as well as are the parentheses. If you're familiar, with uh, logic, the parentheses group these two items together. So it either needs to be in the inbox or in later, and it must meet either this set of conditions or this condition over here. So it has to be tagged with productivity and either in the inbox or in later. Make sense? Uh, 
So we're gonna filter that there. I'm gonna come up here. We can apply bulk actions. We can save the view. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the view right now and I'm going to name it productivity reads. Hit enter. And now I have a name on that. This is an excellent first start to building filters inside of Reader. And in fact, this is probably where 80% of my filters as I build this out are going to be. Different topic areas that I wanna jump into that I haven't read or consumed yet. Uh, things that I wanna highlight going forward. But maybe there's a specific subject area that I wanna watch a bunch of videos, but I haven't, I'm not just gonna go sit on YouTube and do that. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a similar list to that, but it's going to be all videos. So we're going to take that same productivity reads and I am going to create a new query with that. We're just gonna take the baseline here. So I'm gonna copy the baseline, edit query. We're not actually gonna edit, I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to the manage filtered views. I'm gonna add a filtered view. I'm gonna start with this and then we're going to say, and category equals video. And so we're gonna filter by this query. And so now this shows me all the items that I have saved that are either in the inbox or in my later list that are just videos. Cause maybe I wanna watch some productivity videos. I'm gonna save this video. And there we go, I have videos. So I have a full list of reads, uh, but maybe now that I have videos, I wanna go back and I want to edit this productivity reads because, well, this video is also showing up there, but it's not a read. And so I'm gonna edit this filter, edit this query. I'm gonna say, and let's take a look at the filtering guide. There is a way to say that it's not category video. So I wanna figure out how to say, how do I say not? So progress greater than five in not archive. Okay, so this is the model that we want to follow here. So it's in underscore underscore not archive. So for us, if we wanna exclude videos, it's going to be category underscore underscore not video. Save changes and now it's removed the videos. So now I have a list created for all the productivity videos if I wanna sit down and watch videos. Uh, and I have a list for the reads in that category if I want to go through and just read articles and highlight those. So now that I have these reading lists set up, there is another use for these filters that you can use as well. And that's to help you understand some items that maybe have some highlights that you haven't completely dealt with uh, or that maybe need to go into the archive that you've read either in your inbox or in your uh, later list. So to do that, we're gonna go to filtered views. We're gonna add another filtered view and we're going to say, uh, we're gonna use that or query again, in inbox or in later and has highlights. So we're not gonna query down by topic or tag or, or keyword or anything like that. We're gonna filter by query. Cause this is going to show me items that have been saved, but I haven't fully processed yet. And maybe I need to come back into these and do something with them, such as I need to tag some highlights or I need to just archive the article. This is just going to help me clean up my later list from items that I've maybe already read or have partially read. So I'm gonna save this view and say, uh, clean up. All right, so now we have three filters that we've built ourselves. We have this cleanup view, the productivity videos view, and productivity reads. Let's head back to the home screen and I can show you now how to customize your home screen. There's a button up in the upper right hand corner called configure. And now I get the opportunity to select or unselect any of these filters that I have created or that come out of the box with Readwise. I'm gonna click on reads, videos, and cleanup. All right, so now you can see that they're in the configure list. And if I scroll down, you can also see that I have cleanup, reads, and videos. However, that's not the order that I want it to be in. And so I am going to pop community reads above the short list. I'm gonna put my cleanup at the bottom. I want productivity reads under that. 
and productivity videos under shortlist because I don't always sit down and watch those, but I still want it available on my homepage. And if I scroll down, you can see now that I have productivity reads, shortlist, videos, and then clean up at the bottom. That's really it. This is one extremely powerful feature of Readwise Reader that I think sets it apart from the rest of the pack of Read It Later style services. The biggest thing with it is that it allows you to take triaged articles and then create these custom lists so that you can just jump in and start reading where you're interested in reading. You don't have to thumb through a big long list or tap on a tag and do a bunch of manual filtering. You can do it all up front click a button, and then you're in the spot where you want to be. Now, if you found this interesting and you haven't tried out Readwise Reader yet, head on to the link that you're seeing below on the screen or down in the description. It does get you a double length trial, so 60 days instead of 30 days. Plus, if you do sign up, it does support the channel here as it is an affiliate link. My name is Justin with Effective. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I'll catch you in the next one, and until then, stay effective.